Okay, hey guys, so real quick, uh, I'm gonna open one box of Maximum Gold. This came out today, and I only have one box, because I'm, I guess, cheap or something? I don't know. Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff in this set. I just didn't pick up too much of it, because it's mostly a reprint set, and I actually don't need very many of these reprints. However, uh, it's still always fun to open a new thing, regardless. Something else about this set, too, that, uh... I noticed was that there's a lot of misprints or factory error prints or I don't know I mean I saw a bunch on Twitter and Reddit so I'm interested in seeing if that's like a normal thing or if I'm very bad at this if that's a normal thing or if that's just like a few bad apples you know COVID and uh, all that stuff anyways this is Maxim Gold it comes in this hopefully not damaged package oh this flaps open. Okay, so I think you get three or four? Four. Four packs. Each pack has seven cards? Okay. Neat. So, four of these. Um, Alright. I'm excited to see what the new rarity looks like. I have yet to see it in person. This will be my first time. So, we have Dark Lord Contact. So is this the new ultra, this just looks like a regular ultra rare, so I guess nothing too special. Oh wait, I get it. These are the gold rares. I don't know if you've heard about that, but there's like rares where they're just gold lettered, but they're still rares, like there's no foiling in the picture. Trap Tricks, Dianea, Tour Guide, okay, so this is the first of our gold rares. This is Tour Guide from the Underworld. I gotta say, first impressions, I like. What do you think? You like this? Yep. It's pretty solid. Uh, it's not too extra like uh, the secret gold was. I was curious what the embossing would feel like. It's interesting. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to deal with these more. But anyways, yeah, Tori Guide's cool. Um, ooh, a barrier statue of the Torrent. All the barrier statues are in here. These all needed reprints. So, and a Chaos Dragon Levianir. So interestingly enough, both of these two cards actually. Uh, got their alternate arts in dual overload earlier this year. I don't really know why they're reprinting them again in gold rarity. I don't think that's necessary, but whatever. Mage power and set rotation. I'm also, I don't know what I think about this. Like, it feels kind of, whatever, I'm not gonna. Anyway, okay, next pack. It's just, it's weird. But these look great. I like the embossing. I definitely see how this could cause a printing problem, though. Okay. Gear Gigant X, Coach Soldier Wolfbark, Temple of the Six, a lot. Medolte Chateau. This needed a reprint, though I wish it could have actually been like fully hollow. I actually play Medolte, for those who don't know. Laundry Dragon Maid. Okay, so all the Dragon Maids, or like many of them, are reprinted in here. And Cyber Dragon Infinity. Again, I really like these rarities. I really don't like that they redo all, they're redoing all these cards that already got like released in dual overload. I just it's a little, a little weird. And um hey true name. Also this is a really big set, so I'm not like one of the reasons I don't know if I'd if wholeheartedly recommend buying a lot of it is because since it's such a big set, it's very tough to get what you need. It's kinda like Mega Tens. Buster Blader the Destroyer Swordsman Noble Knight Pelinor don't know why that's really in here. I guess someone needed it. Herald of the Arclight. This is always a nice reprint. Synchros look neat in this gold rarity. Um, Medolce Knights. Lose one turn. And Reinforcement of the Army in gold rare. Okay. It's actually a fairly dope. Yeah, so they, so they basically, they outline a lot of the art. So art doesn't necessarily have gold elements as much as it's just like outlined. And it's also... It's because it's got this gold rarity on it, like this gold thing, like overlaid on. The cards have a very slick, like laminated -y feel compared to a normal card. And a tour bus to Forbidden Realms. This is interesting. It's gonna have to grow on me. I'm gonna have to see it in like a sleeve and a deck to form a full opinion. Okay, Maxim Gold's final pack, like Larry would do. It's a uh, Slap for good luck, because God knows I need it. I haven't really pulled anything neat yet. Uh, number 87, Queen of the Night. Okay. Actually, that can use this in Rika, so that's kind of fun. 
the White Stone of Ancients. Cyber Dragon Infinity again. Gosh darn it. Oh well. Number 74, Master of Blades. And number S39, Utopia the Lightning. Okay. And Tuning and Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. All right, so uh, yeah, that's the opening. Didn't want to make this too long. These are basically the golds I got. Uh, all in all, not a great uh, real pull selection for me. It's not really what I was looking for, but I can't say I was looking for loads out of this set. I just would have liked maybe an Imperm or something Nibiru. Uh, thoughts on the gold race itself? I'm gonna need a little bit of time, but I initially I do think it's a nice difference for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so. All right, uh, that's it. Subscribe, I guess. Bye.